Also, Ethiopia's legitimate right to access the sea. Hello and welcome. I am Afumia Yalu and this is News Analytica. <music> Ethiopia, a vibrant nation with a population of over 120 million people, has a legitimate right to secure access to the sea. It is an established fact that Asa port, situated in what is now Eritrea, historically belongs to Ethiopia. This undeniable truth further strengthens Ethiopia's justified claim an urgent need for sea corridors. For centuries, Ethiopia has been an incredibly resilient and self-sustaining nation with a rich and diverse history. However, due to its landlocked geography, Ethiopia has long faced significant challenges in international trade, connectivity, and overall economic development. Access to the sea is not merely a desire for Ethiopia, it is a critical necessity for the nation's growth and progress. Before Eritrea gained independence in 1993, the Asa port was an integral part of Ethiopia's maritime infrastructure, serving as a vital getaway for Ethiopian trade and connecting the nation to the global economy. This historical significance, backed by numerous legitimate historical records, clearly shows Ethiopia's legitimate claim to the Asa port. This subsequent denial of access to this port after Eritrea's independence drastically impacted Ethiopia's economy and hindered its ability to engage in international trade freely. Furthermore, denying Ethiopia its rightful access to the sea also violates international laws and principles of maritime rights. The United Nations Conventions on the Law of the Sea acknowledges landlocked states' rights to access and utilize the closest seaports and provides legal frameworks to ensure such access. Ethiopia's plea for its legitimate rights regarding Asa port aligns perfectly with UNCLOA's provisions. The socioeconomic implications of Ethiopia's landlocked status are profound. Access to the sea would significantly reduce transport costs, boost export opportunities, attract foreign investment, and foster economic growth. Furthermore, history has shown that when landlocked countries face unjust restrictions to sea access, it often leads to political tensions and conflicts. Ethiopia, being an embodiment of resilience and stability in the region, recognizes the importance of regional peace and collaboration. By allowing Ethiopia its rightful access to the sea, the region would witness enhanced stability, cooperation, and shared prosperity. In conclusion, Ethiopia's assertive stance regarding its legitimate right to gain access to the sea, particularly through Asa port, is well-founded and resolute. The historical evidence, international legal frameworks, and socioeconomic imperatives all aligned to solidify Ethiopia's claim. Granting Ethiopia its sea corridor is not only a just act, but also a crucial step towards regional peace, stronger economic integration, and a brighter future for Ethiopia and the entire East Africa region. It is time for the international community to recognize Ethiopia's rightful demand and act in accordance with justice and fairness. That's all for today's news analysis, and thank you very much for watching. Make sure you join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica. <laughs>